Zhuan Zhu is one assassin documented by the great historian Sima Qian in his Records of the Grand Historian Assassin Biographies. In the Assassin Biographies, Sima Qian had recorded five assassins. Zhuan Zhu was the one who had killed King Niao, and he was also a master chef. He invented the grilled fish, which is a popular dish today. He invented the grilled fish for his assassinating job. King Niao was the king of Wu feudal state of Zhou Kingdom, which is in nowadays China. During the spring and autumn period, Wu was outstanding for its prosperity and wealthy among all the feudal states of Zhou Kingdom. Wu state was in southeast China, where Shanghai and Suzhou are located. People there were especially good at making fish dishes. King Niao especially loved eating fish. He wanted to taste all kinds of fish. His dream was to taste a legendary Quanzhi fish dish. No one in the world knew how to cook this dish, except Tai Hu Gong. However, Tai Hu Gong was a hermit. No one knew where he lived. While、well, King Niao was enjoying his good life, an incident happened. Two ladies were fighting for the marble leaves at the boundaries of Wu State and Chu State. One lady was from Wu, while the other one was from Chu. Chu was another rich and powerful feudal state of Zhou Kingdom. Both Chu and Wu were famous for the silk industry. Marble leaves are important resources in making silk. Later, the two ladies fight for marble leaves. Escalated to fight between two family clans. Then two cities, then two states. Then the history has changed because of two ladies fighting for marble leaves. King Niao was extremely angry when he heard the incident. He thought, "This is trade war. If true state does not stop its illegal activities, I will use every lawful king power to beat them." So he sent his troops to true state. The war started. King Niao sent his cousin Prince Guan as the general to the frontier. Prince Guan was the son of the former king. However, due to some complicated reasons, the throne was passed to Prince Guan's cousin Niao, and Prince Guan became the general. At the beginning of the war, Prince Guan was defeated, and he lost his battleships. While soaking in the cold water, Prince Guan became more and more unhappy with Niao. He thought, "Why do I have to fight at the battlefield while Niao was eating his yummy fishes? I'm the son of the former king. I should be the one to inherit the throne." According to the law at that time, Prince Guan should be the legal heir. So Prince Guan planned to regain the throne after returning to war. Like every business, a good HR was crucial for rebellion business. Prince Guan was lucky to have a good HR, Wu Zixu. Wu Zixu found two talents for Prince Guan. One was Sun Zi, the militarist and the author of the Art of War. The other one was Zhuan Zhu, who is today's main character. How did Wu Zixu find Zhuan Zhu? One day, Wu Zixu was walking along the streets. Suddenly, he saw a group of people were about to fight with one man. Although these people got swords on their hands, this man was fearless. He did not escape, but stood still in front of those people. He was so calm and confident. Even if the Mount Everest collapsed in front of him, he would not even blink his eyes. Those people were shocked. They thought that they had met a kung fu master. So they looked at each other and started to run away. The men started to chase this group of small men. Just at that moment, a woman shouted, "Come back and cook the dinner!" The man who behaved like a brave warrior ran away immediately, like a scaredy cat. This man was Zhuan Zhu. Wu Zixu followed him to his house. There he was cooking dinner for his wife. Wu Zixu was confused. He asked Zhuan Zhu, "Why are you so scared of your wife?" Zhuan Zhu answered, "A man who is afraid of his wife 
could make thousands of men afraid of him. Wu Zixu exclaimed, "That's the man I'm looking for." Wu Zixu then introduced Zhuang Zhu to his boss, Prince Guang. Prince Guang was quite satisfied with Zhuang Zhu. He showed respect to Zhuang Zhu and promised to give Zhuang Zhu's son a rank of nobility after the assassination. Zhuang Zhu accepted the assassination job. King Niao was not easy to kill. He had lots of guards around him. It was hard to get close to him. Prince Guang then invited the king to his palace for tasting Quan Zhi fish. His plan was to kill the king at the banquet. King Niao, the fish lover, was smart enough to know Prince Guang's real purpose. However, he still went to the banquet. He could not resist the temptation of eating Quan Zhi fish, so he arranged his guards all the way from his palace to Prince Guang's palace. The guards surrounded around the king with spears and swords in their hands. After several dishes, Quan Zhi fish was served finally. To learn how to cook Quan Zhi fish, Zhuang Zhu managed to find Tai Hu Gong, who lived a secluded life by the Tai Hu Lake. The master chef taught Zhuang Zhu how to cook Quan Zhi fish. King Niao tasted a little bit of Quan Zhi fish. It was so delicious. So he went closer to the fish plate. The man who served the fish was Zhuang Zhu. Suddenly, he took a dagger from the fish and killed King Niao by this dagger. Zhuang Zhu himself was killed by King Niao's guards. By the time Prince Guang's warriors came to save Zhuang Zhu, it was too late. Zhuang Zhu was chopped into pieces by the king's guards. Prince Guang, who had found an excuse to leave the banquet, later became the new king. He appointed Wu Zixu to be his minister. Wu Zixu built Suzhou City by using its water system for commerce, making it a tremendous, prosperous, and civilized city. Suzhou was reputed as the Eastern Venice. Prince Guang also appointed Sun Zi, the author of the Art of War. As the general for the wars against the Chu state, with the help of Sun Zi and Wu Zixu, Prince Guang became the hegemon lord of southern China. He entitled the son of Zhuang Zhu as Shangqing, which is a high-ranking official title, and he built a tower to memorize Zhuang Zhu. Prince Guang kept the Zhuang Zhu dagger in the tower and named it Fish Bower Sword. The fish bow sword, which was named as the Sword of Carriage, was reputed as the top ten famous swords in China.